Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lara and today we're gonna do a single reading. This is very new to my channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Usually I offer pick a card readings and I'll keep offering them, but I wanna do these single readings. So if you were drawn into this video, then it is certainly for you. I am filming this on the winter solstice, the beginning of Yule, the beginning of Capricorn season. It's a very sacred day. And so I wanted to do a special winter solstice spread. Now, now, you can be watching this at any point in time. It does not matter if you are drawn to this reading, it is for you, so stay tuned. But while I shuffle these cards, I just wanna talk about the significance of this time of year, the time that I'm filming. Um, it is the summer solstice in the Southern Hemisphere. I'm in the Northern Hemisphere. We're celebrating the winter solstice, the longest evening of the year. And this marks the beginning of the return of the sun. So. Um, a lot of people celebrate Yule from today, the 21st, to the end of the year, and it marks the beginning of the solar new year, okay? So for the next 12 days, and I literally just came up with this idea, I was thinking I should just do these single readings and post them every single day. Like, that would be really cool. Now, let's see if I actually do that, because I have a a tendency to say I'm gonna do something and not, but let's begin your reading. The rune that came out for you is called Nguaz, and this is showing that currently at the time that you're watching this, you are wrapping up some old chapters, and there is certainly gonna be some amazing new blessings coming in for you, but a lot of you, uh, you're starting to realize and catch this energy of like getting over an ex or an old job or an old location, maybe even overcoming homesickness. It feels like something has ended, a major chapter has ended for you. For others of you, this could be like a group that you were a part of, a friend group, and you are really feeling drawn away from them, pulled away from them. This is a time of you to end old chapters in your life. There's no point in crying over it anymore. Now, here's what I always recommend doing. When you lose something, like when you get into a breakup or separation, some sort of move, give yourself all the time you need to mourn, okay? Whenever I go through a breakup of any kind, platonic, romantic, whatever, or even just moving, I will bawl my eyes out for like three days straight. <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, time to move forward. I go back to my regular schedule. And then maybe like a week, two weeks, three weeks after that, I start to recognize the value in what I went through, why the separation had to happen, why it's no longer in alignment with me, and I begin looking to the future and sort of losing that attachment to whatever it is that I'm separating myself from. So having Nguaz come out for you is showing that you are losing your attachment to someone or something. And there is going to be plenty of promise, opportunities, and beautiful new beginnings coming towards you, okay? Okay. This is the winter solstice reading, which means the sun is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger with each passing day. Okay, so what this rune is showing, the time that you're watching this, even if it's at a completely different time of the year, you have been through the darkest of the dark. You have completely integrated the lessons that were available for you in some past relationship or situation. And now there are going to be more and more and more blessings, abundance, opportunities coming towards you in the future. It's very beautiful, okay? So we're gonna pick five cards and I'm actually gonna follow a spread this time around. <laughs> you know, most of my readings, I just pick cards intuitively and see what they say, what I pick up on intuitively, but I'm actually following a spread. So we're gonna get five cards. Each card is gonna represent something different. So one, two. Also, by the way, if you like this format of single readings and this reading really resonates with you, please give this video a like and comment down below letting me know that you like this format because that'll tell me that I should keep offering them. If you prefer the pick a card readings, let me know in the comment section as well. If you like both, let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear, okay? This is from the Murder of Crows tarot. So I figured it's a really great spread or deck to use because right now, like outside of the window that I'm in this room that I'm filming in, 
there are a ton of crows outside this time of year in the area I live. It's just crow season, okay? So first card out is a message from the night, a message from the shadows. And you have what I believe to be the page of wands. Yeah, this is definitely the page of wands, which is passion, excitement, a spark of your life coming back here. So that is beautiful. I feel like the fire, the spark is returning to you from this point on, especially in the next 30 days, I feel guided to say. Next 12 to 30 days, for sure. Actually, like literally right now, moving forward, um, there's this spark of life that's coming to you. A lot of you may be um, having some incoming travel as well. I see with this and Ingwa's coming out. You may be planning a trip in the next few weeks and this trip is gonna be so good for you. So if you don't have any trips planned, um, this may be your sign to book a vacation somewhere, okay? Um, I'm seeing a lot of you also feeling guided to connect back with nature a bit more. And I'm also seeing dates. If you're in a long-term relationship and you haven't really been going on dates with your partner, I am seeing you doing that with them. I'm seeing like cafes, brunches, uh, little weekend adventures, you know, it, the energy feels really, really positive. Okay, so a message from the night, from the shadows, from the darkness is saying like, we brought you through the darkness of your soul, you know, how you approach your friendships, your relationships, your life. There were some negative repeating patterns that you were experiencing. And the most latest <laughs> chapters that have come to a close, whether it was a breakup, a separation, a move, something like that, I feel like you really truly ended a karmic cycle that you were keeping yourself in. Many of you may have been, you know, constantly connecting with someone who's like emotionally unavailable or like they want you to be their mother, their father, if they're like supposed to be a partner. Um, or even if they're friends, you know, that you may have really sensed some spiteful, jealous energies. And you, you and now you're being asked like, why does this keep repeating in your life? The darkness, the shadows, they, the nighttime <laughs> has brought you this clarity. You know, you made the realization why you kept attracting this pattern, why you kept attracting this situation and what it was teaching you. And now you're free to completely let it go. I feel like a lot of you have completely let it go or you're in the process of completely letting it go, releasing the attachment, not only releasing the attachment to whomever or whatever this was for you, but you're also recognizing what got you there in the first place. And because of that, moving forward, I feel like you are not going to get yourself into another situation, friendship, relationship like that again. And on top of that, I am seeing this spark of life returning to you, which is so beautiful. I love that. You have the page of wands upright. Oh my gosh. So the second card here is going to represent what has emerged from the darkness that you need to explore. And you have the Knight of Swords in reverse. Okay. There's a tendency to rush into things. There's a tendency to ignore red flags <laughs> is what I'm seeing here. Be blind to someone's red flags or not even be blind to it. I feel like a lot of you watching may have gotten yourself into situations where you saw the red flags, you knew it wasn't gonna work. All of the signs were there and yet you still charged forward. <laughs> this may be the pattern that you have. And you know, when I say red flags, I'm not even talking just about romantic relationships. This could be with friendships. This could be with jobs, <clears throat> with any situation in your life. You know, you saw this person's or this situation's issues, the signs were there. And it's not like you didn't see them. I feel like you did see them and you chose to proceed anyways. And that got you hurt. You know, Knight of Swords reverse charges ahead so blindly, so quickly that they end up hurting themselves, especially when it's in reverse like this. You know, this is a sword, it's not a wand. It has an edge, it hurts people. Okay, so you got hurt by ignoring 
your own intuition, the signs that were all around you. You know, this is the darkness. The darkness brings up what needs healing, what we ignore, what we aren't consciously aware of. This is the beauty of winter. This is the beauty of longer nights. Now, obviously you could be watching this anytime. It doesn't matter, like I said, but you know, this is what you're going through. I feel like recently you have made the realization <laughs> that you are somebody who has a tendency to ignore the red flags in people and situations. And it came back to bite you in the butt, okay? A situation that you charged forward with ended up hurting you ended up not working out, exited your life as quickly as it entered your life. Mm. And that's fine. You know, your spirit guides are embracing you. They're holding you. They're, they're not mad that you put yourself through this situation yet again. Okay. They're saying you can go through this as many times as you need and we'll be here to support you and hold you. But... <laughs> This time around, I feel like you guys realized that this is a pattern in your life, uh, that it's not worth it, and there may be some reprioritization taking place with, within you at this present moment. You may be turning your focus inwards more. You may be focusing on the spark of light that is currently in your life. Focusing on things like yourself, your money, your health, traveling, the friends, the people who are here, who are healthy, who you may have even taken for granted. You may be filling that void of what is being lost with the people and the situations, the hobbies, the habits, the business, the career that you do have that is here for you. This void is being filled with light. And you're making the conscious decision to do this, which is extra special. Wow. Okay, so card number three. How to guide yourself through facing your shadows. Mm, six in reverse. I believe this is the lovers in reverse. Yeah, many of you who were guided to today's reading. I am seeing a separation, an ending of some sort. Many of you, you know, this is talking about someone who you have broken up with uh, in this past year, 2023, or whenever you're watching this, um, the, the last 12 months of whenever you're watching this. And you know, you, it, it didn't even have to be a relationship. It could have been a situationship. It could have been a friendship. It could have been a friend group. For others of you, this could have even been like walking away from a job that you worked at for so long and finding a new one. You know, this past 12 months I'm seeing was really all about gaining the courage to walk away from something or someone who you were in a toxic relationship with. Okay, it was not good for you. And for some of you, this could have been a cycle that kept on repeating, 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 or something that you kept yourself in for a really long time. Okay, the lovers in reverse says to you, you are empowered when you walk away, when you say no. Now, for some of you, I feel really guided to tell you that there is a chance that this person or this situation that you are walking away from or have walked away from is going to try to do something to get you back. Okay, now this is sort of like a warning that I intuitively feel guided to tell you at this time. They may try to text you, call you, hang out with you again. And again, I feel guided to say within the next 30 days, but this could even be within the next couple of months. You know, you may be in no contact with this person or completely left this job, whatever. And they may try to win you back, guilt you back, or take some sort of action to catch your attention specifically with the purpose of catching your intention. And they're trying to bring you back in. Knight of Swords reversed, this person. And, and th this makes a lot of sense, guys, because I feel like you offered them so much. You were very loyal. You were open. You know, you fought to make things work. Knight of Swords, it's a knight. It's, it's someone who fights. It's someone who 
wants this to work so badly. You charged ahead into this. And you know, you may have been met with resistance. This person may have taken you for granted, neglected you, maybe for some of you even abused you, or were simply just emotionally closed off altogether. Or they took some sort of stupid action. Knight of Swords Reversed also shows stupid immature action. They were not mature enough to meet you with where you were at. Granted, <laughs> you didn't make the best decision by ignoring the red flags either, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> Anyways, I feel that spirit is trying to let you know, a lot of you were psychically picking up on the fact that this person may try to reach out to you again in the future. This is confirmation if you've been having that just intuitive nudge that this is gonna happen. Yes, it will happen. Now, here's what you need to do. This card is talking about what empowers you, how you should, you know, guide yourself through these shadows. Spirit is saying, the darkness is saying, the energy of winter is saying, do not let this person back in. Okay, here's what's going to happen. You'll notice this pattern all throughout your life right before you are going to manifest something big for yourself, something really good for yourself. You know, it's right at the precipice where you start feeling that happiness again, that spark of life again. It's almost like the universe sends you a distraction or someone from your past comes right back up. It's almost like you break up with someone and you cry about it, you cry about it, and they're nowhere to be found. You know, they ghosted you, they're not in contact, whatever. And it's like the second you finally start to feel yourself completely over this, you met someone new, you're excited about, that's when they come back. <laughs> and you may notice this pattern all throughout your life, because I swear it always happens like that. Spirit is acknowledging, yes, that will happen. Okay, now, <laughs> we want to warn you <sighs> because you have repeated this pattern a lot. Okay. I feel that for a lot of you watching, you've repeated this a lot. It's like, that's the second, like things start to grow, you know, your, your goals are really taken off. Your friendships are improving. It's like you get back into it. Even if it's not with the same person or the same exact situation, it's like another very similar situation or person. Spirit saying, when that happens, inevitably, this time around, you should say no, okay? You should keep the door shut, that will empower you. And then your blessings can actually come forward for once. You know, this is why for some of you, you feel like your dreams, your goals have been taking a really long time to manifest. Because the second it starts to manifest, it's the second things start getting good, you keep going back to this like toxic relationship or cycle or distraction that self-sabotages you. You know, for some of you, this isn't even like a relationship. This could be like you finally start saving up money and getting a nice income and then you get an idea for like a business or something or something that you want to buy and then you spend all your money. You put yourself in debt and the spirit's like... <laughs> You are so close to financial freedom. So there is a bit of self-sabotage that you've been repeating here in your life. And that is what is coming to a close at this very present moment, okay? And spirit is giving you this reading to keep you on the path that you're on because your spirit guys are like, yes, 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 this might be the time. This is the time, like you're on the right path. And they keep sending you all of these validating messages, signs from the universe, readings to say, keep going, keep going, don't go back. Uh, because you're going to be tested. It's not that the universe tries to test you. It's all energy. You know, the second you start genuinely healing, moving on, going into a better place in life, you know, these people, these situations that once benefited from your kindness, your energy, you know, they psychically sense that you're moving on, you know. And, you know, these shadow demons are like, oh, no, they're empowered. They're they're in their light era. Let's try sending them a distraction to get some of that light, you know? Oof. Yeah. Wow. What a message. Okay. Card number four. What aspect of your life requires stillness and rest? Mmm. Three of swords. Yeah, guys. You may think that you are fully, fully over 
whatever this is that ended, but time will allow you to do that. For some of you, here's what I'm seeing. You may have gone into a breakup separation, whatever your ending was, right? And, you know, I feel like you got over that initial mourning period. Like I said, like those three days where you cry nonstop. I feel like you already did that. Your, your schedule went back on track, whatever. And, you know, there may be a point in the upcoming weeks where you're just like, okay, like now it's time to move on. And I'm kind of seeing like spirit giving the message, like what if we just didn't? <laughs> what if we just like let time do its thing here and heal? You know, this, this card is very, very telling, you know? What aspect of your life requires stillness and rest? And you got three of swords, which is the heartbreak, the ending, the complete sadness and loss. That's what needs stillness. That's what needs rest, you know? Give your heart itself a break. On the traditional Rider Waite tarot, there's a heart with three swords stabbed in it on this card. Spirit is saying, give your heart a break, okay? Give yourself sufficient time to just be single if you're single, to just focus on yourself, you know, to just vibe out alone if you're alone, or just, you know, spend your time with the people and the situations, the hobbies, the habits, the goals that are already in your life and have shown that they're trustworthy and have shown that they're not going anywhere, you know? That's what you should be focusing on. That's what needs time. Your heart needs time to heal and recover. You know, don't just hop back into another relationship if you just got into a breakup. Give it time. If you're in a new relationship already, give it time. There's no rush. There's no need to rush here, especially with the Knight of Swords in reverse. I feel like a lot of you need to hear this, you know? There's no need to rush your love life. There's no need to jump right back into something shortly after it's ended. Oh, you know what this is reminding me of? This is a very specific example, but I know someone whose dog died and their dog died in a very tragic way. It was an accident and they were pretty young. And I was really shocked to find out that they got a new dog the same exact breed and everything, literally like less than a week after their previous dog has passed away. I thought that was very weird, very strange. And I don't know why I just mentioned that to you right now, but I feel like there's a situation here. I'll give you another personal example, actually. This is one that I went through myself, so I'm totally putting myself on blast here. I got out of like a two year long relationship with somebody and then like a few months after, and I swear, like I, I did my thing where like I cried aggressively for like a week straight. And then I was like, you know, trying to get over it, whatever. And for some reason I decided like to go on dating apps or whatever, I, I don't know why. And I found someone and I wasn't even looking for love per se. I was just, you know, I don't know, trying to avoid loneliness, I guess. And I found someone and I didn't know much about them because their bio, was very like short. And when I met them in person, I it was weird. It was weird because they were the same exact sun sign as my ex. They were from the same country as my ex, which is not where I'm from. So this is weird, okay? Very specific. This is a very like minority immigrant type of, you know, country. They were around the same age. They had the same master's degree. <laughs> it was crazy. Like there were all of these weird similarities. And even I was like, this is really weird, okay? But, you know, I didn't want to judge the new guy because of all of this. So I, I gave him a shot. And of course, there were red flags there. And of course, I ignored them. So that's another um, example. I don't know, again, why I'm giving you these examples. I feel like you may have a tendency to jump into something so quickly after something has ended. And Spirit's trying to prevent that cycle from taking place yet another time right now, because for a lot of you, you recently might've ended something. And Spirit's saying, take your time, give your heart a break, okay? Give your heart a break. Give your heart full time to heal from the resentment, the anger, the jealousy, the whatever the heck, the hurt, the pain, the loss, okay? Because if you don't give your heart that time, you are literally going to get into 
yet another situation exactly like the last one even if you're very like mindful eagle eye super sharp like not trying to do that here's the thing that makes it complicated you consciously are aware of everything that went wrong in the past okay you consciously can acknowledge you know the red flags to ignore what you want etc however unconsciously beneath the surface you know you still have some healing to do and you may subconsciously get yourself into another situation like that. So I don't know, Spirit's just saying, give your heart some time, all right? Final tarot card before we dive into the Oracle, how to bring more warmth into your life. And you have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, which again is a message asking you to take some time off for yourself. Give your heart a break, slow down. I'm seeing slower living. Okay, don't go diving back into another situation. Another thing that I'm seeing here is take a vacation for yourself, okay? Take a vacation for yourself, focus on your little routine, you know, sit in your routine, let time do its thing for a little bit. You guys are very passionate, very quick moving. You like seeing change. The universe will bring you the new opportunity that's coming when you are most ready for it, okay? This is genuinely, and it's funny because a lot of tarot readings that I do for people, I'm always giving the advice of like, you gotta put yourself out there, especially love readings. People are like, where's my soulmate? And I'm like, well, you haven't left the house in 10 years, Janet. So, you know, uh, maybe that'll help. <laughs> maybe that will help. For you guys, I'm seeing the exact opposite. Okay, you are always so proactive about, you know, taking action and, you know, trying to manifest whatever it is that you're trying to manifest. And Spirit's saying, can you just sit back and let us do some work this time around? <laughs> You'll know. We'll bring you the opportunity when it's time. Okay, you'll have very clear insight. And if you do need to take an action, it, it'll be so such a strong impulse and knowing and it, it'll feel right. Okay, you'll know when it's time to move on. You'll know when it is time for these new blessings that are coming in. But for right now, sit back and relax, guys, okay? Make yourself a drink or something, you know? Go on vacation. Enjoy the routine that you've built in life, the friends or the people who are here for you, the spark of fire, of warmth, of love that is presently in your life. Focus on that, okay? Hang out with your friends that you've taken for granted a little bit more your neglected hobbies, you know, the space that is left from whatever has ended, fill that space with the things that are currently in your life that bring you happiness and joy, fulfillment, that have been neglected, that you haven't been focusing on. Spirit is saying, take the time to just sit back, relax, let time do its thing and enjoy your life. So that way, when this toxic situation inevitably comes back around, you can genuinely, with the fullness of your heart, reject it <laughs> and say no to it and completely end this karmic cycle that you've been repeating. It is time. This, is, this cycle feels like it's been going on for years for most of you, okay? So we're getting a message from the Archangels, teaching and learning from Archangel Zadkiel. Keep an open mind and learn new ideas, then teach those ideas to others, okay? The space that is created from this separation, this ending, whatever it may be, um, ask yourself, is there anything you've been wanting to learn but you haven't had the time to learn? Uh, this can literally be like a language, an instrument, something like that. You know, don't just hop back into a new relationship. Don't just hop back into another distraction. This is the time to pour energy, pour love into yourself as your heart heals. Spirit is saying it is not the time to jump back into something new. It is the time to focus on you. It's not the time to try to find new friends, find a new relationship, find a, a new, like whatever the heck you lost. Like just focus on, on you right now. Focus on your goals, your hobbies, your, your dreams, what you want to learn that you didn't have the time for. We have spiritual understanding as well. Archangel Raziel, I am bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths. You're going to be getting a lot of epiphanies during this time over the next 12 days in particular, I see. Uh, and this, these epiphanies will come through in many different ways, through social media, through just realizations out of nowhere, uh, maybe even like insightful books that you read. 
um, anywhere, you know, they're, they're, they'll come through in all different types of directions. But that is beautiful. And I feel like at this time in your life, you know, you may feel like you're over someone or something, but like that energy is still settling. That dust is still settling. It needs to take root, okay? Because I feel like if this person, the situation were to come back today, I think that you think that you'd say no to it, but there, it's very iffy. You know, the, <laughs> the dust needs to settle. This new beginning needs to take root a little bit more. We have serenity coming out as a message from your spirit guides. The most important relationship you can have is with yourself. Exactly. This is a time to honor, nurture, and love yourself more by seeking out and removing any negative feelings and emotions that are left over from yesterday. That's exactly what Ingwaz was trying to say. You're closing out chapters, letting the dust settle because there is new beginnings coming for you in the future in the near future, okay? But right now, at this exact moment you're watching this, and for the next several days and possibly weeks, you know, this is a time for you to be in serenity, to give your heart a break, to let the dust settle, to relax, okay? To connect with yourself, wow. And to let yesterday's feelings be processed fully, okay? If you still find yourself checking social media, thinking all the time about someone, something, you know, it, you still need time. You still need time. Don't let past issues and resentments interfere with your serenity today. Exactly. Oh boy. Okay. Let's get another message. All right. That was fast. <laughs> you have love. Wow. Love is the foundation of your existence and you're just as worthy of receiving as you are of giving love and compassion. I want to pause and say, I think this might've been the issue of whatever has ended. You were not receiving as much as you were giving. And this is, you know, additional confirmation of that. While love can be a beautiful emotion, it is equally a form of energy that propels you through life. Beautiful. And we're going to finish off with a postcard from Spirit. And again, guys, let me know in the comment section and by liking this video, if you want to see more single readings like this, I could post these a lot more frequently than the pick of cards. I'm still going to do the pick of cards. Don't get me wrong, but let me know if you're into this. All right. Final messages from your spirit team. Final messages from your spirit team. If any wants to come out, that would be great. Or we just might have to, okay. You have three. You know, I'm just gonna take this one that's single. All right, this is literally a postcard. Dearest you, there is only one you and you have a unique path and special purpose. You're supposed to have specific experiences in this world and meet certain people, but then it is up to you how you live, how awake you choose to be, and how willing you are to grow and strip away what is false. Don't compare yourself to others. It's easy to think a person is happier just because their outside looks good according to society standards, but you can't know anyone's internal experience. Compare yourself only to your past self. Oh my gosh, so many messages about letting go of the past and seeing how you have grown, okay? And sort of moving forward, evolving. See how far you've come. Don't be distracted by what others are doing or accomplishing. Stay focused on what inspires you. That's how you get successful and find happiness. Want what you have now, not what someone else has. We love you immensely and know your journey ahead is sparkling with miracles and wondrous things. Trust, loving you forever and ever. Wow, there is gonna be a lot of like, I'm not even exaggerating here, huge, amazing blessings coming in. And again, I keep coming back to this theme of like 30 days, in the next 30 days, you'll see these blessings if you stay on this path that you're on, you know? So that's amazing. But even in the next 12 months, the year ahead, if you, you know, keep like, if you give your, your heart the proper space and time to heal, oh my God, like when, when you're alone, when you are truly out of all toxic situations, which I feel like for a lot of you, you have, <laughs> for a lot of you watching, the times that you were in zero toxic situations were, were few and far between, okay? But if you look back on your history during those times, you were extremely, extremely magical, good at manifesting and, and great at life, okay? Spirit's saying, please stay in this space a little bit longer this time. 
give your heart the space to heal so that way you never get into another toxic situation again, okay? Thank you guys for joining me. Like this video, comment how it resonated with you down below. Of course, let me know if you like this format and subscribe to the channel if you've not already. If you're new here, welcome. I might post more single readings like this. I definitely post a lot of pick a card readings and have a ton on my channel that you can peruse. And I'll do the occasional spiritual chit chat. So subscribe for that. If you want a personal reading with me one-on-one, -on -one, the link to that is always in the description box, spiritpsychic.org. I also offer my goddess energy intention oil there and my spiritual life coaching sessions there. All right. If you're watching this around the time that I'm posting it, go ahead and get the 2024 tarot and mediumship reading. This will be up for a very limited amount of time. And this is like the perfect time of year to get it because we're about to start the new year. So go ahead and get that. It's on my website. All right. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.